Imagine an ecosystem, for example, a savanna. This ecosystem is in a certain state, described, for example, by the amount of vegetation. This state is stable. This means that if we introduce a disturbance, the ecosystem will grow back to the way it was. If environmental conditions change, for example, if it becomes drier, this may change how the ecosystem responds to disturbances. The so-called stability landscape may change, introducing the possibility of a second stable state. In this example of a savanna, the second stable state is a desert state, with little or no vegetation. Under these environmental conditions, only a very large disturbance can cause the ball to roll from one stable state to the other. So the system is resilient to disturbances. If environmental conditions change further, it becomes easier to go from one state to the other. Now, only a minor disturbance can already push the ecosystem from a vegetated to a desert state. A further change in environmental conditions might even remove the possibility of a vegetated state altogether. Close to this tipping point, the system is less resilient. This shift from one state to the other is rapid, compared to environmental conditions that were actually changing relatively slowly. In order to restore the state with vegetation, the environment now needs to become much wetter than it was right before the shift occurred. So we should be careful with changing and disturbing our ecosystems. Their response to environmental changes and disturbances is unpredictable and shifts in ecosystem states are difficult, if not impossible, to restore.